stuff we like. So yesterday I headed over to Wipeout and basically it's located in the middle of nowhere. And you know that you're in the middle of nowhere when you see a bunch of donkeys and you go... I wonder what I said to them. But anyway, as far as Wipeout's concerned, it was absolutely crazy. It was like this huge carnival of all these fun rides that, potentially speaking, you might get injured upon uh, riding them. But still, you had that chance to win $50,000. So it seemed a little bit worth it, at least at first. But then when I actually saw a bunch of people riding on these things and trying to survive them... It was kind of uh, not so much worth it. I, I actually did not go on a wipeout. But I did check out the video game, and that one is using your Kinect. So you could pretend like you're part of the wipeout experience. I also got to interview Jill Wagner, and that was pretty interesting because not only is she the host of Wipeout, she is also a huge Flip fan. And I'm like, yes. You just earned 10 more brownie points on my scale. I did also end up getting this shirt and hat that say, I survived the big balls. Oh, ugh. yeah, actually that sounds pretty nasty. But anyway, I do want to say major props to all of the Wipeout contestants out there. Because what you've been through is uh, pretty darn insane and crazy. And I'm sorry for all the misery that you had to go through to potentially win that $50,000, but at the end of the day, you made for some pretty good TV, and also just being there in person and seeing that pain and misery that you went through was, uh, well, it put a smile on my face, all right? So, I'm a terrible person, I'm going to hell. I know, all right, jeez. Anyway, uh, make sure that you go ahead and check out that interview. I split up into two parts, and of course, I will try and review the Wipeout video game coming out for the Xbox 360 in June.